Hi, good morning everybody. Dave from Chef's Bonus here. Uh, we're gonna do a little going back to breakfast. So I got this uh, griddle heated up here. I've got it very high on one side and uh, medium on the other. So we've done a bunch of different breakfast foods, but today I'm thinking we're gonna do a little bit of uh, Elvis French toast. So if you don't know what Elvis French toast is, it's French toast, bacon, peanut butter, bananas. Probably the healthiest thing you could ever eat for breakfast. And I'm going to do that right here, right now, starting with dropping that bacon, getting it really nice and crisp. And then we're going to do the French toast on the opposite side. So first thing being first, I want to check my temps. This is my high side where the bacon's going to drop. And then my medium is where the toast is going to go. So... All right, so I got this thick cut bacon. That's the first thing I want to drop down. Get this nice and crispy. Went to Graceland a few years back and uh, was interested to find out that Elvis used to eat uh, bacon as a snack. We'd have his cook crisp up the bacon and then crumble it and put it in a bowl next to the, on the coffee table or, or the, uh, lamp side table while he was watching TV shovel mouths full of crumbled bacon into his gob. That's my kind of guy, you know? Uh, my daughter is not a pork fan, so I'm going to do the, the bacon for everybody but her, and then I'll just do the peanut butter and banana french toast for, um, for everybody else. So we're going to let this uh, sizzle and crisp. And then I'm going to set it on some paper towels, dry it off. Mm -mm, nothing like the smell of bacon in the morning. I know I've mentioned food safe practices before. I was, I'm a big uh, food safety guy. I used to teach serve safe at a culinary school in Boston. Um, one thing you want to do when you're flipping things over is don't flip them towards you. When it's greasy, you want to flip them away so the grease goes that way when it drops down. If you're ever, you know, flipping a burger in a pan or something, you want to have the the, the grease go away from you. So if it's, if it's uh, spatters, it's going to spatter away and not spatter back on you or your hands. Or, you know, if you got kids hanging around the stove watching what you're doing, you don't want them to get burned. So always be safe. All right, so my bacon... It's almost where I want it to be. It's looking real bubbly and crispy. So while this is finishing up, I'm gonna start dropping this French toast down. I know I mentioned this before. One thing I really like about working on the, this 360 griddle is that the grease management, everything kind of drops off the edge and then I can roll it around into the into the grease bin. I don't have to worry about splashing it around, um, you know, using my my scrapers or my, my tongs and splashing around. It all kind of drops right off. So. so I want this to be thin enough that I can stack these on top and they're not, you know, too heavy. I mean, this is definitely a, a heavier dish and a wonderful of a dish, but definitely a heavier dish. It's something my kids love, so I love them. I'm going to make it for them. So these are perfect. Good thing about cooking French toast, too, it doesn't take very long to get it exactly where you want it to be. have to be crazy because it's going to melt a little bit more anyway the hot toast the hot bacon this can also be if you're not a peanut butter person if you want almond butter there's a lot of different butters out there right now healthier options uh, this is not a healthier option obviously 
because I'm putting bacon on it. Um, but in the meantime, I want to just caramelize these bananas just a little bit, get a little color on them. You always got to have a little extra bacon to nosh on. Yeah, that's the chef's bonus. Don't be shy. It's got everything in it. It's got salt, sweet. these bananas on here. And then That is breakfast. Just gonna let these sit for another minute and let the peanut butter melt. Right. So here's our finished Elvis French toast, and I can't think of a better way to top it off than with some main wild blueberry syrup. There it is.